Hello, this is Jacket Potato. I'm the community manager for Nitties. This video is going to be about the latest Series 2 Switch Nitty drop, which also included a mystery additional mint, which was our very first blue label. Blue labels are a new category of NFTs for Nitties. They are limited editions that don't sit within the standard red label schemes. These are likely to be used for collaborations and non-unique releases, such as we did here with a Data Doggy. And in case you aren't familiar with Nitties, the blue label name literally relates to the label on the Nitty or Nittimal. So you can see here the blue label versus the red label that people will be used to seeing on previous sets. And the insanely rare variant of series one, which infamously has the black label within that set. This blue label mystery hunt was the first of its kind for Nitties, where following the series two Nitty sale for the Nitty known as Switch, there was a chance for anyone who did mint a switch to then go and solve the puzzle in order to also be able to mint the Nittimal companion to switch. The inspiration for Switch Nitty came from the science fiction anime called Cowboy Bebop, where a traveling crew of bounty hunters aboard a spaceship included a character known as Radical Edward who was a female child prodigy skilled in hacking, which leads nicely to the theme of the puzzle that was to be solved to find the blue label. This blue label was inspired by Ed's companion in the anime, which was a genetically engineered Pembroke Welsh Corgi. This blue label nitty within our nitties ecosystem is known as Data Doggy. So, how was the mystery solved? Let's run through the steps that were required. I should note also that this event was a time limited mint. So as soon as Switch Nitty was released, the community had 72 hours in order to solve the puzzle and mint the blue label Nittimal Companion. All of the data doggies are identical. However, the serial numbers for each were in chronological order. So the first minter would get serial number one and so on. And that was to reward those that were first to solve the puzzle. The 72 hour window has now obviously passed. So if anyone watching this video would like to get hold of a data doggy, then you will need to find them via a Cardano NFT marketplace. So for the puzzle itself, there were no clues dropped initially other than to look across the entire Nitties ecosystem and there were really two places that people needed to look in order to solve the mystery. First and the most obvious one was the place where the community could mint. For that something was hidden in the My Nook area of the Nitties.io website. For those who aren't aware, anyone who holds a Nitty or Nittimal is able to verify their holder status, which is currently done via our Discord. And once they have done so, that user can log in to the MyNook area of the website, and there's a bunch of extras hosted there as an additional benefit to our holders. Within MyNook, you can view higher quality resolution versions of your nitties, as well as extras for each of the series we have. To use for wallpapers and such like. And for those people who minted a Switch Nitty, within the Series 2 Extras section, they would then be able to see this glitched looking phrase, which looks a bit like Hack Tomato, which is a reference to the computer design and inspiration for it that's part of the Switch Nitty model. If they were to click this, it would open up a secret console from directly within the website. So you can see here the console with the Nitties OS detecting unauthorized access. So you needed the password in order to proceed. Any failed attempts at the password would of course alert the Intersolar system police. 
So now we have a place to enter the password, but how do we know what the password is? Well, that leads us to the second part of the puzzle that was needed to be solved. Something that's been part of Nitty's ever since Series 2 started back in September 2021 is the 3D AR capability. There's plenty of little Easter eggs that are only discoverable by looking at a Nitty in AR mode. And for this puzzle, that's where the main clue was hidden. So this is the model in AR mode. There are other tools to access this, but it's also something that we've integrated into the Minook area of the website. So that's the easiest place to do it. If you're on your phone, you can open up the NFT in 3D view, and then there's a little AR icon that appears, which will open up your phone camera and enable you to place the Nitty or Nittimal within the real world around you. If we do that and then look around the switch nitty, there wasn't much of a clue on the outside, but if we zoomed in and kept going, the secret was in fact hidden inside of the computer, which was alluded to in a couple of the clues that were dropped throughout the 72 hours. This puzzle was available about breaking or hacking into the computer. So inside of the computer, there was this hidden message a serial freak, which was indeed the main clue needed to find the password. A serial freak was referenced to some of the earliest known computer hackers, where there was a particular example which used a whistle that could be found in the Captain Crunch cereal boxes at the time. This whistle was able to produce the exact tone through their telephones to bypass AT&T's analog system and basically get free long distance phone calls. One of the first hackers at the time also adopted Captain Crunch as their nickname. And that was in fact the route the community needed to take in order to reveal the password, Captain Crunch. So we type that into the console, there we have it. Congratulations cowboy, you are authorized to claim the bounty. Some additional Easter eggs for this screen here is that the statistics for the data doggy information for height and weight there, you see are indeed statistically correct for an average Corgi. Adam, our technical wizard, also allowed for users to connect wallets such as Nami, Eternal and Flint directly from within this console. All users could submit the exact value of ADA they were given on the screen from whichever wallet they chose. And that was it. I believe just over 100 people managed to solve the puzzle in the end and mint a data doggy. Interestingly, we never specified a max quantity that people could mint if they solved the puzzle and got access. And we were curious to see if the earlier solvers would try to test the limits of that and see how many they could get. But the community was super honest and the vast majority only grabbed one in those earlier stages of discovery. There was actually a max limit that we had set per user, but there was no maximum quantity that the community could mint within the 72 hours as a whole. So the community decided the total quantity of data doggies that would ever exist. So here is data doggy in all of its glory. Again, the Nitty community can view this from within my nook if they do own one. And there's even an animated version within the extras section that you can also view in AR mode. This is good fun to play around with and you can see Data Doggy here trying to get my dog Milo to come and play. The community seemed to really enjoy the puzzle solving and hunting for clues. So this is certainly something that the Nitties team would like to reproduce. When we do so, we will aim to document that again, once complete, to share across the wider community. So keep an eye on Nitties as we continue to develop and enjoy similar community activities throughout the future. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen, and we'll catch you again soon.